Hi, how are you? What a beautiful life I lead, floating around the sun in just the right place. So glad I'm not where Mercury is. It would be much too hot. And I'm so glad not to be where Mars is. Ooh, it would be far too cold. I am so lucky to be right here. It's the perfect temperature. I've got an atmosphere for all living things to breathe, which protects me from the sun. And over the years, I have created the circle of life. I love being a home where people, animals and plants can grow and live together. But then something happened. About 200 years ago, something called the Industrial Revolution started. People living on me built factories to make things, powered by the burning of coal and wood. More people came, which meant more houses and food were needed. More factories were built, so forests everywhere were cut down to make more space and provide wood. All of this has caused a lot of pollution, containing what are known as greenhouse gases, escaping into my precious atmosphere. So why is this bad? Well, I normally do have some greenhouse gases in my atmosphere, but in my circle of life, I would get rid of them, keeping everything in balance. But now, with all these extra greenhouse gases being made, I just can't get rid of it fast enough. Hope it doesn't sound like I'm moaning, but it really is becoming a problem. Let me tell you why. There are four main greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, methane, ozone and nitrous oxide. The greenhouse gas that I'm most concerned about is carbon dioxide because people are making a lot of it and it can stay in my atmosphere for hundreds of years. These gases when mixed with water vapour in my atmosphere are causing problems. Let me tell you what these problems are. When I have natural amounts of greenhouse gases in my atmosphere, some of the heat from the sun that warms me up is able to escape back out into space, making sure I am the perfect temperature. This is called the greenhouse gas effect. But with all these extra greenhouse gases that are being pumped into my atmosphere, I'm afraid that this is no longer what happens. The sun warms me up as usual, but when the heat goes to escape into space, it cannot because of these extra greenhouse gases. Instead, the heat is reflected back down on me, which is making everything much warmer. This is called the enhanced greenhouse gas effect, and as I get warmer, it's causing something called climate change, which is when the kind of weather and the temperatures we are used to change. Now, here's a little secret. Climate change has happened to me before, but it's now agreed by most scientists, researchers and governments that what in the past was a natural cycle of slow change is being speeded up and made worse by the greenhouse gases people living on me are making. There is no doubt that my guests need to change their ways. When I get warmer and the climate changes, all kinds of things start to happen. More greenhouse gases are created from vegetation as it rots faster. More water vapour going into the air that is evaporated from the oceans and rivers makes it even worse. When I get warmer, my frozen lands melt, so even less heat is reflected by the white snow. More than likely, greenhouse gases that have been frozen for thousands of years will be released. All the ice melting and the heating up of my seas, making them expand, means that my sea levels will rise. Land will get flooded and I'm going to have very different coastlines from today. Climate change is going to mean that there's going to be much more extreme weather. My dry places will get drier, wet places are going to get wetter and most places will get warmer. Warmer weather will mean insects and diseases that are now only found on me in certain places will spread. In fact, 2014 turned out to be the hottest year on record. Peoples living on the edge that rely upon weather and their environment that have little protection to change in circumstances are going to be the first and most affected. There is little doubt that indigenous peoples will form a large part of this group. 